Marshall, the hospitals, the other jurisdictions, those are the ones we know of. But these leaders tell me that, that the sense is that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's been at least two fatalities. A woman and her eight-year-old daughter this morning uh, died due to carbon monoxide poisoning. And uh, the truth of the matter is this carbon monoxide uh, poisoning is in many ways a disaster within a disaster. Please protect yourself and your family. Keep them safe. Much of these uh, poisoning calls, uh, the deaths, they're due to bringing grills into the house, turning cars on in garages, basically using outdoor equipment inside. You can use that equipment to stay warm. Just don't use it in your home. Keep it away from your home. Water is another hazard we're dealing with, so I'm going to talk about that briefly. The effect of frozen pipes and weather impacts are, are, are having an effect on water pressure. Check with your local utility district to see if there's a boiled water notice. We're getting reports at varying times. If you still have water, remember to preserve some. Don't be one of the folks that I've talked to recently who say, you know, I, I, I knew I was supposed to fill the bathtub, but I didn't get around to it, and now I don't have water. Make sure you preserve the water right now while you have it. Very quickly on the road safety, roads are getting more dangerous again by the minute. What melted today is turning into ice again. If you are not home, get home and stay there. To be clear, the roads will continue to be dangerous into tomorrow. So don't plan to get up in the morning and get moving. We're going to have to wait until into the day and we'll keep folks informed. We know that people did well over the past couple of days. The first responders continue to be surprised at the relatively low number of accidents. We only had 15 new major accidents, 15 uh, reported to the sheriff's office uh, today as of the la latest report, which is actually a relatively small number given the size of our county. So let's keep it that way. I'll briefly touch on some of the activities we're engaging in. Of course, keeping up the warming shelters, helping coordinate across the different warming shelters, not just the county, uh, but the city, uh, other nonprofit organizations and folks who are trying to help. County facilities and buildings will be closed Wednesday and Thursday. On vaccinations, Harris County Public Health will contact folks on our wait list once they're able to administer vaccines safely again. They may be able to start administering uh, some second doses and testing on Friday, but folks are already uh, will be contacted. Anybody who is contacted that can't make it will have an opportunity to reschedule once the weather passes and the power issues pass. So folks who've been selected out of the wait list don't have to worry that they're going to be put back into it. We're going to work through that and our systems 